Hi, welcome to HIM215 Week 2. I am Dr. Shelley Safian, and I am your instructor, facilitator, teacher, coach, E, all of the above. I'm here to help you learn and get everything out of this course that it has to offer. This week, we're going to start the coding process. Now, remember, this is an accelerated course. It's only seven and a half weeks long. So, and we're going to learn a lot of complicated information in this course. So buckle up your seatbelts because it is going to be a lot, but you can do it. And I'm right here by your side. This week, you're going to learn about ICD-10-CM, which stands for International Classification of Diseases, 10th Revision, Clinical Modification. In simple terms, these are diagnosis codes. These are the codes that we use in healthcare to explain, with just a bunch of numbers and letters, exactly why the patient needed the care of this health care professional during this encounter. So keep in mind, the key word is why. Why did this physician need to care for this patient? And that's what you're going to explain by interpreting what the physician has written into ICD-10-CM codes. This is also known as justification or medical necessity. This explains why the physician did whatever was done for this patient or to this patient during this encounter. Because you don't want people doing things to other people just for the money. That would be wrong. That is wrong and illegal. So, we have to make sure that we interpret what the physician writes as to why the patient needed medical care, and we interpret that into the language of ICD-10-CM. So, as you're reading through the scenario, whether it's one sentence or an entire page case study, you are always thinking, why does this patient need care? You're looking for the term or terms or phrases that explain why. Now, as you're going through all of this, you will find that you're going to need engage your knowledge of medical terminology and anatomy and physiology. This is very, very important. So, I recommend that you get a medical dictionary and keep it by your side and pull out your anatomy and physiology textbook. Or you can get actual paper anatomy and physiology and medical terminology books from anywhere online. Like Amazon has a great medical dictionary for only something like $10. Okay. Yes, you can use online sources. However, while you're taking an exam, those online sources may not be available to you. And however it works for you, I want you to keep these resources close at hand so that you can I don't understand that word. I'm going to grab my medical dictionary, stop, look it up, so I understand what I'm reading. Because honestly, if you don't understand what you're reading, how can you possibly interpret it into a code? Hmm? Okay, so use your resources. Ask me questions. I love it when students ask questions. Please, it makes me feel useful. Okay? All right. And otherwise, I'm in the course every single day, seven days a week. I'm in my SNHU email every day, seven days a week. Not 24 hours a day, but seven days a week. Okay? So I'm here for you, even though, except for this video, you can't see me, but I'm right by your side. Okay? Let's learn about ICD-10-CM diagnosis coding. What do you say?